friends welcome to my youtube channel uh, dhanesh here uh, this is the second video on uh, java programming uh, in the last video uh, we discussed about how you can install java and uh, uh, how you can install eclipse ide how you can set the path for java all those aspects we discussed in the last program see in this video i am going to discuss about the fundamentals of java programming like um, what is you know how what is the simple syntax you will follow uh, while writing in a java program all these aspects i am going to discuss in this program so in this uh, video uh, let's continue one point um, you need to understand here is uh, how do you save a file while uh, saving a, J uh, see, a java file you need to understand java file is saved as class name dot java whatever may be your class name that dot java that's the way you save a java file i will uh, show it in the eclipse eclipse id last uh, last video we discussed about this id as well see in the eclipse id this is a, a simple program hello world program i have written see what is the class name here my hello world so that is the uh, file name and the class name see class you can see here and the class name also should be same it's also my hello world this is my hello world this is also my hello world both the things should be same that is important that's very important that's what it's given here java file is saved as class name dot java dot java is the extension and both the file name and the class name should be same you understood now the next point what is a class see class uh, to get more clarity here i am not um, you know explaining completely so what we are um, you know trying to understand here is uh, from an object oriented programming perspective for example java is an object oriented programming language c++ is an object oriented programming language see when we understand object oriented programming class means for example human being see human being is a class okay in that human being uh, we are telling ganesh ganesh is an object see what's an object we will discuss later first you understand i will give you some examples of class one is i told human being is a class uh, asian american european african all these are examples of class pen is a class pencil it's a, another class class of objects right different types of pens are available in the market but pen it's a class so that is the concept of class you need to understand fine now what i am trying to tell you here is uh, from a programming perspective every line of code that runs in java must be inside a class very important so every line of code that runs in java must be inside a class second point you need to understand java is case sensitive okay the third point the name of the java file must match the class name that's what i have already shown in the eclipse id see this is the file name and the class name both are same so that's a very important point the name of the java file must match the class name you understood now you understood what is a class that's also you understood next thing here you need to understand is about the main method very important in the program 
I have shown here public static void main string args this is the main method so that is there everywhere in C so sorry uh, that is you know main method is mandatory for every java program you need to understand here see the syntax i am not explaining each keyword here first you understand public static void main string args this is the syntax you need to follow while writing a main method what is static what is void what is public everything we will discuss later fine uh, the main method is required and you will see it in every Java program. See it's syntax, public, static, void, main, string, ARGS. Now, any code inside the main method will be executed. That's another important point. See, for now, just remember that every Java program has a class name which must match the file name and every program must contain the main method. This is the conclusion. You need to understand every Java program has a class name and which must match the file name and that every program must contain the main method. You have it here. So this is a simple Java program and you know you have the main method here and here the class name is matching with the file name. Now uh, I, in that program if you see I am using system.out.println. I love Java. What is this system.out.println? See if I want to uh, if you want to understand system is a class in Java. It's a you know built-in class already. That details we will see later. But you need to understand what is println. See println inside the main method you can you can use the println method to print a line of text to, to print a text to the screen to the output. So that is the use of the println method to print a, a text to the screen. That is the use of println method so now if we run this program i have shown you in the uh, last uh, uh, video as well when you running this program you will click on this you know uh, i can see here on button is there triangular shape green button when you click on that when you run that you can see the output here i love java so println method is used to print a text in the out you know screen that's what we use system out all these aspects we will you know understand later system is a class in uh, built-in class in java you can understand in that way so this is the general syntax you need to understand here so what we discussed here is uh, uh, what is a class how do you save a file then what is class that we understood then what is the importance of main method one important point you need to understand here is every java program has a class name and it must match the file name that is the main method and uh, uh, then what is print and it is used to print a line to uh, a line of text to the screen these are all the things we discussed so that's all in this video uh, it's a uh, how a simple program see what are all the things you need to understand uh, when you uh, you know write a simple java program a hello world program in the coming videos we will be you know understanding the syntax you know more clearly and we will get into the details of uh, you know how uh, you know java works how what is the syntax and uh, how uh, you know java complex java programs we can write all those aspects we will be discussing in the coming videos see thanks for watching please like share and subscribe thanks a lot